Mary, what is your sense of the climate of the voters this year? Here in Youngstown, since I've been making phone calls to registered voters and canvassing door to door, speaking to people directly, people here in Youngstown are much more educated this year and they understand the dangers of fracking and what fracking will do to our environment um, here in the city. They know that it will ruin the water because it has so many other places. They've been reading about it. They've been reading about it for several years now. And they know that also the earthquakes are caused by fracking as well as the injection wells. We had over 500 earthquakes um, in one year in Northeast Ohio. Uh, that information just came out. People are definitely um, afraid and, and very cautious about what they think um, that fracking safety is all about. They know they're being lied to because the, our opponent is saying that fracking is safe. And it's been proven over and over in other states as well that it is not safe. So I think the voters have really smartened up. They understand that they need to vote yes for the Community Bill of Rights this year to save Youngstown, to save their homes from cracking up with the earthquakes, to save their water, keeping it clean from the toxins, and to save the city and the health from the huge amounts of radioactive toxins that are coming in as frac waste into the city every day. Um, they understand that people are out there dumping toxins into the river and pr probably other places too. Um, they understand the corruption that's going on with the fracking industry and they don't like it. So they're going to be voting yes. It's an overwhelming amount of people that I've spoken to, either on the phone or face to face, that say they've already voted yes, they plan to vote yes, and they will continue to vote yes. So that's my, my I have the finger on the pulse in Youngstown. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Sure.